everybody, and welcome back once again. It's the 2020 season, and it is here with us. I know you're glad to see it. We do not know how far we'll get to go, but I thought I'd jump right in and do a little coaches show today. We got in touch with about 90% of our coaches, and um, we've got one of them on the line. Just a second, just a second. I'm going to be busy this week, so I'll be traveling and um, trying to take care of some things. But uh, this guy we got on the line right now, we're going to be over at his house over at the launch pad, three, two, one. That's Thursday night. We're going to start there. That's going to be Rockville versus Laverne. Then Friday night, we're going to head over to Oakland, and we're going to see Coach Kevin Creasy's team, and we're going to see the Oakland Patriots and the Hendersonville Commandos. Then Saturday, the show, we'll pack it all up, roll into a little bit, little bit outside of Knoxville, and we're going to go into Alcoa, and we're going to see Blackman Blaze and Alcoa Tornadoes, and we'll wrap it up, and then we'll see what goes from there. But right now, the inside the headset team, and here we are with the head coach of the Rockville Rockets. we got on the phone with us, Rick Rice. How you doing tonight, Coach? I'm good, Stork. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Well, Rockville, the second season, and um, Coach, we, did, we, we didn't win a ball game last year, did we? <laughs> no, we didn't, Stork. Oh, it, was, it was rough. Uh, but you know what? I think, uh, you know, sometimes you go through, through life with some adversity, and no doubt that was, uh, that was some adversity we went through last year, and uh, we started a new program, and... Uh, but uh, but you know what we're uh, we feel like we're going to be a better team from it, and uh, we've had uh, uh, even though we didn't have another spring practice, we uh, uh, we've been having some really good some really good workouts from our kids. Some uh, you know kids are showing up every day and working hard, and uh, and hopefully that uh, we can continue to play. You know, with all the COVID stuff, so uh, I'm just hoping that we can just uh, you know get you know get in a, a ten game schedule and and, and maybe maybe. Uh, you know, if we can go far enough to the crown a state championship. So, uh, but anyway, we're just we're just thankful to be playing uh, Stork, and our kids have worked very very hard. Just like all the other kids in the state of Tennessee, they worked hard too, and they deserve to play. Well, uh, let's talk numbers. Uh, what are we talking, Coach, out there at uh, Rockville? Uh, are you are you pretty good on numbers when we? Oh, talk? oh yeah, Stork. We're we had a hundred a hundred eight varsity. Uh, 10, 11th, and 12th, and I've got 38 freshmen. So, uh, so we're right up, you know, right around the 150 mark. So, uh, numbers are not a problem, and uh, uh, so we've got got plenty of kids to pick from, no doubt about that. So, um, no scrimmages. Um, so, yeah. what's uh, I mean, um, so how do you uh, how do you know what to do? I mean, are you going to go out vanilla? I mean, uh, coach, are you just going to go out and tell these kids? Uh, or I mean. Um, uh, how experienced is your quarterback? What do we got? Let, let's let's start there. Let's start with the offense. What do we got? Yeah. Behind, well, let's, what do we got behind the ball, Coach? Well, we got yeah, we got a got a young man. We had a couple of guys competing for the starting job, and uh, and and uh, right now our, our our kid, you know, under center is a kid by the name of Logan Nowacki, who has you know, worked very very. Hard. I love a Nowacki. Yeah. <laughs> I love and the Nowackis. They're fearless. Yeah, and so. Uh, Anyway, he worked very hard and looked very good in fall camp, and uh, and you know he's got some leadership skills that we want there. So, uh, um, you know he's he's the head guy right now. But we got a couple other really good, you know, you know capable backups, uh, you know, behind him too. So, uh, um, at running back, we feel like we're pretty good there. You know, got got you know three young men that that can tote a little bit. Uh, uh, Grayson Smith, Landon Starnes, and um, Lamarcus Nelson, and also. But another young kid, a uh, kid by the name of Robert Daniels, really showed a lot of promise. He's a sophomore, so uh, uh, got a good wide receiver, Kareem Sharif, uh, Brannick Swain. Uh, some, you know, we got some really good young kids. You got to understand, Stork. We're still, we're still very, very young. Right. And uh, very young. And uh, uh, I think we've got. We only had three seniors last year, and we got seventeen this year. What we've got. Well, and um, well, in so that's, that's it all. Increased. Well, it all starts on that front line. What are we going to look like there on both yeah, sides? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. That's probably where we're strongest. You know, we're strongest there, and uh, you know, we got all those kids coming back. And the thing about it, we'll, we'll uh, I think we'll lose lose one one or two kids. Yeah, we got yeah Max is at left, and uh, the Hunters at center. But we'll have three three of those kids coming back next year as the starters right now. But the, 
that's our strong suit right now is our offensive line. And uh, so those kids work very, very hard. And, and uh, you know, if we're going to move the football, it's gonna, we're gonna, it, it'll be on those, those guys up front. Uh, Kevin Creasy's taught us a lot about football. One thing he teaches is special teams is special. Uh, where you, how you, how you going to be there, Coach? Good, yeah, I feel like we got one of the better punters in our region, a kid by the name of Jason McCormick. Okay. Uh, he's a sophomore. He, he's really good historic. He, he can – I mean, he's a, he's a weapon what he is. He's a weapon. He's a I like that. <laughs> he's a weapon. we got, Na- got uh, Nalen Watson who's going to do the uh, field goal PAT. And his leg has gotten stronger. He's a senior this year. And uh, – um, and we're looking for big things from him. One thing about it, you're going to have a good crowd there on Thursday night. What uh, have they told us? Uh, what is our city ordinance or county ordinance? Have they told us what we can let in? I mean, I know I'm getting in, but uh, wh- how many can we put in there? What's what's the situation? Well, as far as just the stadium itself, Stork, we're we're going to kind of go kind of we're looking at shooting at third capacity what we're looking at okay and, you know we had we had an inter-squad scrimmage last night and coach luker and one of our sros were kind of measuring off in the state in the stands mm-hmm. while, while we were playing mm-hmm. and um you know and from talking to him after the scrimmage it looks like we're going to be able to get you know between you know 800 to a thousand fans in, in the in the in the uh stadium uh and that's not i'm just i'm just throwing those at because that's just what kind of a kind of a uh, I guess right now, and we're going to take everything off uh, this week, and we know exactly how many fans we can have in there. So you know, everybody's got to get you know checked for temperature, got to go through all the protocols and that type of thing. So, uh, but um, but you know, I, you know, the one reason why we did this game on Thursday start was because we're going to be the only game in town. Yep. And, and you know, coaches always want, love those big gates, you know. And uh, yep. Oh man, and, you know that's not going to happen, but that's okay. You know, the, the most. You know, the big concern is, you know, the safety and well-being of our student athletes. So, like I said, I'm just glad to be playing. What are we going to do about the band and trying to situate them? I mean, yeah. uh, that's a well, that's a that's you know, another our thing. Band members, yeah, our band members, Stork, has have increased uh, this year. We've got over 150 band members, and they're going to take up quite a bit of the quite a bit of the. Yeah, we got our our, our stadiums in seven sections. Right. And the student body and the band. And we probably won't have a, a big student body there, but our student body and band are going to take up three of those sections by itself. Is there any way to sell a, a pre-sale over to Laverne to let them know, you know, to, to make it easier to get these people in and out? Or, yeah. or are we going to try to do any of that, or is that yes. is that just yes. far fetched? Yes, sir. We're going to send two. We're sending two hundred tickets to Laverne. I think that's a figure that that Coach Crutchfield give me. Uh, that could change, Stork, but uh, three hundred tickets. And kind of what we're going to do, uh, each player on the team is going to have uh, four tickets they can buy for family members. Okay. And so, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So, can you uh, sit in yeah. a group? Okay, can, if I'm a family of four, group, yes, if, I, uh-huh. if, I, if, I, if I'm a family of four, I can sit in a group or up to yes, uh, up to what? Up to what's the number in a family? Well, I mean, that, that's, the, that's the kind of, kind of the, the question right now. Kind of like I tell the kids, it's kind of like college. When I was in college playing at Austin P, we uh, you could get four tickets. Well, if one of my buddy's parents or family didn't come, I could get their four tickets. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. So, uh, so I don't know. Just respect the space. Time. I mean, yeah. if you got to bust up in fours, I've. I mean, we're going to going to be here for two and a half hours. You'll focus more on the game. You won't be sure. jip, jip japping and get yeah. your get. I mean. I think being in a in a section of fours is a good idea, and we can go uh-huh. with that, and, and 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 you know at least be, at least be in there. Um, other than that, um, is there any anything uh, you'd like to say about the faculty and staff? I mean, you guys have had school for a couple of days. How did that go? Oh, it went great. It went great. Of course, uh, Steve you know, Luker is a got, machine. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, we got. Uh, we got quite a few kids, uh, Stork, that went distant learning. You know, I think our numbers, they said, was like 2,100. Yep. You know, I think we had close to 1,000 kids that went uh, distant learning. Okay. So, um, you know, it's, it's, been, it's, been, it's been tough. Uh, I'm not going to lie. You know, just not on coaches, but on our teachers and administration. I told Coach Luker this morning, I said, I don't see how to worry. Y'all have done this. And I don't see how any administration in Rutherford County has done what they've done. I mean, it's it's. A lot of ways. We're a big. I mean, we're a big outfit. When, hey, we're a big outfit when we roll uh, in the morning uh, on Monday at eight a.m. I mean, it's a lot yeah. of people on a lot of different transportation yeah. moving around in this county. It is, and uh, we got great leadership there with you know Coach Luker and uh, 
and our assistant principals, Coach Crutchfield, uh, Miss Ch- Miss Chambers, Coach uh, Coach uh, Ramsey Lee Ramsey, and Miss Miss Monica West. So, uh, uh, and you know all the people up there, they're just they're just wonderful. And then, well, and I mean, very very smooth, very very smooth. Well, and I I said to I said to our our general, I said to Bill Spurlock, I said, you know, general, yeah. I mean, if we have to adjust, we'll adjust. I mean, we're, we we may have to you know pull back or whatever, but you know, all in all, let's just keep trudging forward till we see what yeah. we see. And I mean. Who I knows? appreciate Coach. I appreciate Coach Spurlock. You know, um, I mean, he, you know, he's going to do what's best for the student out or for the for the absolutely. The safety's the first thing, but we're right here playing, and I appreciate him. You know, you know, you know, realizing that you know, athletics are important, and so uh, we're going to give it going to give it a try anyway. Well, uh, well, what else is going on? Uh, everything else okay out at out at Rock Vegas? We got the concession yep. stand in, and are, are is concessions going to be open or? What yep, we, concessions what? will be open. Okay. Uh, everything will be everything that we sell will be prepackaged. Uh, okay. You know, it's already coming to package, and uh, so uh, yeah, we'll have the concession stand going. Uh, um, just so, do what we can. I mean, you know, yeah, and, and do, yeah, it yeah, mean, yeah, do, uh, and you know, we're gonna have. You, and, you know, have SRO officers there and our, our, our administration to make sure everything goes smooth. Because you got a member store. We're, we're the only game in town. And I don't know. We might be the only game in the state of Tennessee on that Thursday. We're going to look good. Season, so hey, well, hey, hey, Stork Vision's going to be right there. And, and we're, well, we'll, we're, we're going to throw a signal down. right to him, Coach. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I tell well, we you right now, you. Hey, we got a place for you. So I tell well. you what, I know where the tower is. You don't have to ask me where the tower is, Coach. <laughs> I know where they are. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we appreciate you, and uh, uh, we'll look forward to getting out there. I'm going to get. Uh, it'll be me and uh, Mike Eady and uh, and Judy the Beauty running the camera. Okay. Just be three of us, so uh, we'll get in there yeah. early, and uh, we'll text you or whatever, and pull in underneath, and. Uh, then scoot our outfit up to the top. Scoot our outfit look, up to the top. We look forward to y'all coming, Storg, and thank you for coming. We well, really well, well uh, you know, it's uh, – you know, uh, I don't know. I mean, we've been doing this a long time, Coach, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And um, we appreciate John Jones Real Estate, our sponsor, and everything he does. And uh, it's just going to be a good time. I mean, once we get into the flow – and once the whistles go and, and everybody starts, I mean, yeah, every once in a while you may have to tell somebody, you know, put your mask on or whatever. Because sure, sure. you get a little bit excited or caught up in the moment. But remember, too, other people are changing equipment or doing something or mm-hmm. they may, you know, they may have to, you know, where they're trying to catch a breath or whatever. Because let me tell you something, breathing through that mask ain't easy. And you know that. Uh- you know. It, it's not. And I just, you know, just ask people to, you know, to, uh, you know, don't. I mean, worry about yourself, but but mostly worry about the people around you. You know, just stay six feet apart, keep your mask on, and uh, and everything's going to be fine, Stork. I really believe that. Well, and uh, you know what? Uh, we're all going to look out for each other and do it in the right way. Yes, we and, are. And, yeah. and, and that's the most important thing. That's Rutherford County. That's the way we've always been and everything. Coach, I'll see you Thursday night. Uh, be careful. Take care of anything I can do. You've got my cell phone number. All right. All right, Stork. Thank you so much, man. See you then. Yes, sir. All righty, bye.